What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about some things that you need to check out if you're going to buy a used vending machine. This is very important. You want to make sure that when you're getting a used vending machine you are getting the best quality. Now I do recommend if you're buying one you buy one from somebody who's already in the business because they can show you the ins and outs of the machine. But even if you're buying from a private seller, somebody who doesn't know anything about vending machines, you need to test these things out. So let's go ahead and hop right into it and take a look at it. Alrighty you guys, so I have two machines here. One is a drink machine and one is a combo machine. So I'm gonna show you guys a few things that you're gonna wanna look at when you're going to look at used vending machines. First off, you're gonna wanna make sure that there is a lock in here and that the person has a key for said lock. You're gonna wanna make sure you bring some ones with you so you can test out this dollar bill validator right here. And also, you're probably gonna need some quarters, nickels, and dimes. Now, if you're testing out a drink machine, you also might want to bring some cans with you. I'd, I'd say the more prepared you are, the better, because you're going to want to completely test vend this machine. You're really going to want minimal work on your end. So when you get to the place, pull out your coins, make sure the coin mech is at least, you know, halfway full in order for the dollar bill validator to work. So um, bring dollar bills, bring quarters, and maybe bring some Cokes as well. So you can go ahead and fill these columns up enough to... Um, you know trigger this switch right here so that way they will dispense so those are a couple things that you're going to need and basically the same rules are going to apply with a snack machine so like i said a lock dollar bills for the validator and like let's say you came and checked this one out you were going to buy this one from someone else you would come in and you would say oh well there's no coin mech in here so we can't test the dollar bills we can't make sure that everything vents correctly so you would just kind of have to walk away at that point unless you had a, a validator with you i mean unless you have a coin mech with you but a lot of the times people come to me and they say hey justin i want to get into the business and so how can i get started obviously the cheapest way to get started is to buy your machines off of craigslist and facebook but in order for you to do that you're going to want to know what you're looking for so these are two machines i'm pr i'm not sure exactly what this is um but this is an ap machine ap is made in the United States the guy that I buy machines from he says always buy machines that are made in the United States because the uh, machines that are made out of the States are cheaper quality now I don't know that for sure but all I buy is APs and polyvins and also um, I have a Dixie Narco Pepsi machine over here that I'm selling as well so like I said before just to kind of get a quick recap we're gonna want dollar bills coins and drinks and because you're gonna wanna make sure that the dollar bills work and everything else. Um, and if you're coming to check out a snack machine, you don't necessarily need to bring snacks, but you do wanna check that every single one of these rings works because you know if you have a section of rings that don't work, that means you know something could be wrong with the board or you could have a number of different issues. You might need um, to get new motors on these. All right, you guys, so, so when you are buying used vending machines, you wanna vet these machines as much as possible because when these go on location, this is gonna be the make or break. I mean, this will either be making money for you or it will be breaking down, getting complaints. And so if you don't properly vet these machines, then you could put a machine out on location that has a number of different problems. And that's the last thing you wanna do, especially if you don't have somebody who knows what they're doing that can come out and fix them. One thing that I did was I found the guy that I buy my machines from. He's He was in the business, he actually sold his business, but he still sells machines because he's got a connection, someone that he gets his machines from. But he'll actually come out and repair my machines as well. That's why I kind of recommend you get your machines from somebody who knows what they're doing because they can probably recommend somebody who works on them as well because I'm not very technologically savvy I guess at least when it comes to the machines obviously I know what I'm doing on a computer and things but I'm just not that interested in you know the mechanical workings of these machines so for me to have somebody that can help me out really comes in handy because I don't feel like learning everything about these machines that's why when I go and I buy machines from other people I want to make sure that they're working to the best of their abilities. Um, another thing is, is when you're going to buy machines from people, um, don't be afraid to offer lower than what they have on there. If someone's selling a machine for $800, I would send them a message and say, what's the lowest you would take? That's always a good starting point and they might throw out a number. When you go and check it out, you might wanna nitpick a little bit. If you guys have ever bought used cars, it's kind of the same thing. You could be like, 
oh, well, you know, the validator's a little bit old or, you know, this isn't working quite properly. You know, could you do better on the price or just offer a lower price? I mean, the worst they could say is no, and you end up paying a little bit extra, but don't be afraid to haggle on the used machines. So just to recap, things you're going to need, dollar bills, coins for the coin mech, drinks if you're doing the drink machine because you're going to need to um, trigger the... There's a trigger on there that'll dispense them because if there's not enough cans, it will not dispense. Um, and yeah, just make sure that they have a locking key. Don't buy a machine with a lock in it that you don't have a key for, obviously. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to haggle as well. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment down in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.